Hey guys, welcome everyone to the live stream. We're gonna watch international team versus Russia. Two strong teams clash today. Probably going to be a very tight match. Both of them doing well so far in the Team World Beast Championship 2024. We're here with the first game from the first round. It's Oleg Aryumin versus Angan Kongmin. The Vietnamese player saying he has some lags. And it's game on. He's trying to put a swap too. Looks interesting. Could be could be black advantage a lot, but let's see how it's gonna be played. Currently G8 looks really good for black. Even if the block comes from the right side, you go up. White cannot continue anywhere on the right side because of the block on G9. Hence white needs to block, but if blocks something there's a lot of other stones that can be connected which means black has excellent chances to win this first game unfortunately no bot for this game available for this match available which means Keeping track of the score is going to be a tad bit harder than usual. Regardless, Olegariumin takes the first point here. It's 1-0 for him. A scheme by Min. A swap to by the Russian. Min takes white. And is progressing towards an attack. A passive approach from the Russian. White has a good advantage in this game. Let's see if Angan Min can convert it into a victory. You do not need to defend here because there is no continuation of an attack. Min sees that and plays a very strong offensive move. This is going to be 1-1 here very soon, very likely. You can now choose between an indirect and rather direct approach. I would fancy this move. This is also not bad. A lot of strong moves here that are likely also winning moves. This attack is definitely unstoppable. Only a sudden unexpected mistake could ruin it. There's a nice combination using this diagonal and this diagonal and E7. So if mid spots it, it means his next two moves are going to be e7 and f6, creating a diagonal 4 on this line, as well as a diagonal 3 on this line. But he sees a different, different VCF, a bit longer, one move longer, but it's also winning, so 1-1 one, one between the two of them. Let's look at some other game. It's... Trami versus Alex Pin, that is Letitin versus Alexander Pinsky, the young Russian super talent. He's like very strong in both Gomoku and Ranju, a very talented young player. Let's see what he can do with this fellow Vietnamese player. A win for Sasha Pinsky. But they are not checking the score. How do they know when it's 11 games? I 
Anyhow, corner opening and the slow build up. Black needs to be careful not to get surrounded there. It's not hard to get surrounded there if you push the attack too much. Given that there is no win here in the corner. Sasha needs to realize that and play either h10 or i8. Move back to the center a little bit, control the position. This could be blocked from the left, yes, well spotted by uh, the Vietnamese player. On the other hand... Oh no, nothing. Still defendable. But to defend it, he would have needed to play here. So now there is a win scenario using this four and this one for black. Sasha managed to trap his opponent thanks to this small trick. And here he is with two wins in a row. 4-0 for him. Just to avoid confusion there. Okay, some corner opening again, edge opening, slow build up, black is the first to be a little bit initiating an attack. Let's see how white is going to play this. Sasha decides to shift the attack towards the bottom right side, middle right side a bit. But there are no resources there, which means he's giving his opponent some extra stones. He should have, in my opinion, aimed towards this area. But it looks like uh, Trami is a bit passive here. So overall, still good chances for the young player. Okay, now this is interesting because if you go above, there could be some lines here which could cause some, some troubles, in my opinion. Overall, though, I do not see a winning sequence, especially with this continuation. I don't see any way for him to proceed with the attack and he heads back to defense. Still an okay position, probably. Not a lot going on there. Sasha needs to trap his opponent once more, build attack in the top areas of the board where he has the most space to do so. Otherwise, they are hitting time trouble, both of them, soon enough. And that's when mistakes can happen. Trami with white below 10 seconds already, Sasha 17 holding on. Trami is being a bit slow here, a bit bit slow, he might time out soon. He needs to start playing faster, but he is going to time out. He's hanging on 2 seconds. Sasha launches an attack on the other side of the board, the mistake comes immediately, allowing him to take a 5-0 lead here. Let's see Alexei Lebedev versus Jin Ukli 
from South Korea. Let's see the score line between the two. Maybe if someone is gonna type it in the chat. Well, given the experience, uh, Alexei Lebedev should be the favorite in this pairing. A strong Russian player who was also part of the Monday Blitz Evenings Grand Final last year. So definitely a strong player. He also performed well in the individual World Blitz Cup 2023. And now he is with white pieces. Playing against the South Korean player from the international team. A comfortable position for Aleb. Not a lot he has to worry about. He can progress towards offense. He kind of just needs to pick which line he wants to use. I'm expecting him to play age 13 actually. But a more passive approach incoming. And immediately mistake. There's a two moves in for white. Ale plays it quickly. Of course without hesitation. Takes another point. So far it looks like the Russian team is dominating this match. Okay, that's a bit passive again from from Jean Ukli. Alp can go for an attack already in the game. And he is, of course. He's taking this opportunity. And Black is already in a lot of trouble. A more cautious line from Aleb. Let's see where he's going with this one. Fortunately for him he can't use this line because simply blocking from above would be enough ever since there would be a cut using this line so he cannot do that. After a couple of quick moves, Black is seemingly back in the game, Black is alive, Black has some chances again, they're level on time, so it's anyone's game, actually this is a passive move here, Black can go use the space to, to, to create an attack, but another passive move incoming this time from Jinu Klee, the South Korean is heading back to defense creating a rather drawish position but now he once more has a chance to attack let's see if he's gonna live with it this time it is a bit tricky because you cannot play this one probably yeah you should have played okay there's a two moves in for white this way and Alibi is quickly playing that and taking another valuable point for his team Three wins here in a row for the Russian player. Let's head back to Oleg Aryamin and and Gayan Kongmin. Let's see how the captain of this international team is doing here. Mm, that's a mistake because there is a quick three moves win here in time trouble. And there we go, another Russian win we're witnessing. A rather slow start from this Asian squad. Although the scoreline is 5-2 for Min, 
as London already informs us. So at least he's winning. Okay, he needs to be, be needs to be careful here because black is powerful. This one is not bad, but black could have attacked already there. Still, again, could have played here, keep on attacking. A rather passive approach here by Oleg Ariumin. Enabling and Gaian Komin to maybe find defense in this game, although he and his internet issues he's being a bit slow. Which could easily cause him some problems, but he is very very aggressive. It's a losing move of course because there's a quick combination here. Let's see, yeah, he's he's going for it. Okay, slightly differently than I would have done it, but still a viable option. Okay, that should be blocked from above. He needs to go above. Yes, well spotted by the young Vietnamese player. There's no winning attack down there for black which means white is gonna have some advantage some some offensive position once uh, the resources are over but a blunder in time trouble enabling the Russian player to take another point meaning it's 3-5 in their individual match and overall a huge Russian lead in this match Oh, that's an interesting swap too. Oh, the young Vietnamese player is trying to motivate himself to try harder. He should, he really should because he's talented, he's a good player with much potential. He needs to try whatever he can here. Oh, an aggressive move from Olegari, I mean, but I think it was early a bit. Now, if I were mean, I would have gone for an attack, given the position he had to. Now, it's rather overwhelming. I don't know, there's not a lot he could do. Maybe he can try this move on I-11. This way is just overwhelming. He can still try F8, but... It looks a bit, bit bad for him. More than a bit, to be fair. A nice move from the Russian player. He's been from here on multiple solutions possible. And it's quickly 5 4. Three wins in a row. At least for the Russian player, Oleg Ariamim. Okay, the same swap too. This time he goes with black.
That move is a tiny bit far away, in my opinion. He needs to be a little more patient and precise in these situations. That does have some potential, but Oleg is quick to find defense here. But now he has to still keep on defending. Well spotted. Yeah, he still needs to defend. Not like that. I think that's uh, not the optimal move from white. Black needs to go for this attack immediately oh yes there is gonna be a win for black for and guy and Kong win he needs to overline his opponent with the stone disabling this block although even this would simply win without the overline because there would be a win here and one here anyhow it's black's win gonna be six four here Let's motivate him a bit. It looks like Trami and Sasha Pinsky already finished their match. Let's see where Alab is at with the Korean Gomukur, Jin Ukli. Alab once more in an advantageous position. He has a strong, strong foundation to start an attack. A very interesting attempt from uh, from the Korean Gomoker, but I'm not entirely sure it could work because White can simply go on G8. Oh, this way it's gonna be problematic for Ala because this tree is cut here, so. I don't know what he wants, but now he has to defend, that's for sure. So overall, he confused his opponent just enough to make him block, but he oversees a tree, an open tree. And that's game over. He did not see it. Alp says it's 92. Let's real quick check that. Yep, it is. So let's go back here to. Watch this last game between the two of them. Whereas we have a interesting position. Black has this quick attack, but sorry, white has this quick attack, but so black needs to be mindful about it. The Vietnam is in a bit of time trouble, although his opponent doesn't have a lot more time than he does. Okay, this would be an excellent move here. Also not bad. It gives him a win. There he goes, snapping the last point of this micro match. Well done. Overall though. A strong Russian lead from after the first round. Let's check real quick. A score line between Sasha Pinsky and Trami. It's eight three.
after the first round it's a nine points lead in total they're not hesitating a lot second round bearings already available and got me facing Alep Trami versus Monster and the Korean Gomaker versus Alex Pin. So let's start with this one. The one between Olegariamin and Lachi Team. It's this scheme again from the Russia and the swap to incoming from the Vietnamese. Let's see, probably he's gonna take an offensive approach yet again. And the Vietnamese is gonna be passive one more time. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Let's see if you can see a positional move, a defensive move, or already some, some attempt at an attack. Um, this is not, not uh, too threatening, I would probably just go in the middle. Okay, attack, 3 from above, you have to block it from above. Because it's a better block. And now there are some options again for black, probably monsters thinking on playing this one to force a blocky move, but he may as well be thinking on playing a defensive move, and he is. Let's see. Black's position is somewhat better for now. White should consider this move, but White's playing it well done by the Asian player. There's still a lot of space on the board for an attack. A small trap by uh, the Russian, it does not work out. And now white has a lot of space to attack this move i really like here a lot of lot of opportunities to create something okay he goes with a direct approach but he could be easily overlined here so he must not forget that but the overline is not coming for some reason I would have expected an overline there. At least now he has to. And yeah, his attack hit an obstacle, a serious one. He needs to reorganize this attack because, well, it just hit a dead end, so. Hanging on 3 seconds, the Asian, his opponent on 6, let's see if he's gonna time out again, or if he could survive maybe this time. So far so good, he's hanging on, he's dictating the tempo of the game, but he is not really, well, a blunder. He failed to block an open four, which means the first point goes to Oleg Ariamin. Our scheme. The choice of color, he played the same scheme as Monster likes to play. All right, let's see how it's gonna go. Let's 
Let's see if he can beat his opponent from his own skip. That would be interesting. But it looks like he's not gonna do that. So the black wind here is becoming inevitable. Although that was not the best of moves. Now it's back to rather balanced. Or change of odds real quick. Okay, but he's down to five seconds again. He may blunder again in time trouble. He needs to pay more attention to his time. There he has the chance to attack now, but he's timing out, unfortunately for him. Let's move on to Alex Pin, that is Sasha Pinsky versus Korean Gomoker Jin Uk Lee. It might look like uh, there could be something, but there is a small mistake, no small mistake, okay. This, this is blocking simply, because this cannot be extended due to the edge effect. So this is just gonna block it. And then you just simply go here on age 11. And you have no problems. Black is controlled. So, still some chances here for Jin Ukli, who is hanging on. Three seconds. But he's going for the win. Sasha needs to play his four or I8 to block it. He spots it quickly, of course. Puts some pressure on his opponent. It times out, therefore. Sasha is the winner of the game. What an ending. Oh my, Asia's being a bit slow today. Alright, let's see how well he does from this corner opening. He plays this one a lot for sure. He should be able to make some to create some advantage from it. But of course let's not forget that Sasha Pinsky is in spite of his young age a strong contender. It's not easy to just beat him. All in all, probably 8 7 is incoming. But nope. Um, then there is a win using these diagonals. It's a rather simple win, so. The Asian has to find it. He needs to play here. Oh. A different approach. So he wants to use this line, maybe? That could still work, but he needs to pay attention to the order. Okay. Okay, he's, he's gonna win it. It looks like he's gonna have it. Uh, 
so he finally finds the win that was a well done well done game from his perspective he found a nice line and played it Not a lot of things for Jin Ukli tonight yet, but that was well played. That was that was a good win from the South Korean player. Okay, Black looks quite advantageous here, even without going directly for an attack, he could just simply go here or something and leave off of the positional advantage he has. I'm wondering if he wants to try M8 or something. Alright, a different approach might still work for him but it looks like he's slowly dropping his advantage oh but that's a crucial mistake now there's a two move if simply four black left he forgot about this block perhaps i don't know why else would he play here Seeing that his opponent can easily, easily cut back with this one and take the point rather easily. Well, there we go. Alexander Pinsky with another win. Let's check the third board. The match between so far the best players with the most points collected from each team. That is Angayan Kungmin and Alexei Labyadev. Well, he needs to be mindful. He should play this 4 first and then this L7. That way he could create a cut. But he fails to see that. Plays a defensive move instead. So most probably the defensive line ahead of Alep is G4, J4, L7. That's most likely what he's gonna do, nothing else really. And yeah, he finds it and plays it. And now Min needs to build something entirely different again. Because of not seeing that cut that possibility to do a cut he's low on time he's playing fast but that's when mistakes happen so he needs to be careful oh okay now he needs to play all of his force to block and that's not gonna be enough because there will be another tree created oh yeah that's a big problem now for Alexei Labyadev. White can simply win. There it is. The young Asian takes the point. Six nil for him. Wow, that's impressive. That's that's apparently more than impressive. But it apparently is clear that he still does have some connection issues. A little bit unfortunate for him, it must be hard to play like that. Okay, an offensive approach. I'm wondering if, if Ice 5 could have been simply played from back, but it wasn't. Regardless, 
Black is in an okay-ish position. But definitely needs to watch out for the attempts of white. There was a quick win for white using a direct combination, but it wasn't played, so back on square. Now probably yeah, just in the middle. Blow is gonna come on j5, and then white can attack in the central area of the board easily. Probably playing this three first to force a block on the left side. But even without playing that three first, should still be more than advantageous to be finishing the game. Strong build up. Finish gonna come soon. There even is a VCF available. There was one playing this four, this one, this one, this one, this one. But of course, playing simply here is even faster, so no need to rush like that. Alib is using up his force, but unfortunately there is no connection for him in the bottom part of the board, meaning he's gonna lose the game like that. And it's 7-0 for Angayan Kongmin. An impressive lead. Okay, he's gonna be aggressive here again a bat. Yeah, that's a comfortable position to attack from. And yeah, now anything here within these lines is enough to win. So it's uh quickly gonna be eight zero for him. Maybe, maybe a comeback for the Asian form, the international team is becoming real. As we can see how hard their captain is trying against a strong Russian player who has been the most efficient of his team so far in terms of points collected. Multiple ways for white to finish this game. Eight nil, wow. Impressive. All right, let's head back to Oleg Ariamen and Lachi Teen. Where I'm about to check the score line between the two of them. It's 5 2 for the Russian, apparently. Which means, even though Ngamin is zeroing Alexei Lebedev, Team International is still losing more and more in the second round. His teammates need to switch to better shape and start collecting points if they want to win this match. Regardless of how talented Min is and how many points he is collecting today, 
he cannot win alone for sure so he needs his teammates also to score some interesting position again yes i had kind of that feeling that monster is gonna go for this attack but actually this way it was mistimed and now white can push forward two moves win here a vcf a quick one He needs to find this two moves win. Or any other win. And he has four seconds left. He must not make another mistake. There we go. 5 3. Still for the Russian. But at least one point closer overall. Okay. After the swap to monster picks white, plays a positional move. Let's see if he's already gonna start to build some attack. He might as well be. Okay, he's attempting a quick connection there. It could easily work, but it also depends on what the responses his opponent's gonna give to his stones. It's definitely not over yet. Now some smart move needs to come, like i6 maybe, or h7 perhaps. Definitely some possibilities, but I feel like he did not choose the very best ones. They're both not choosing the very best ones right now. Suddenly the position is rather black. Although it was surely winning for a while multiple very strong continuations but at least Oleg is still pushing forwards trying to create something there let's see if he can manage to he looks rather surrounded there he needs to be more than careful okay, most probably this move should come but not yet Okay, now white played it, but there's a win there. Nice one. Trami is getting closer. Which means overall Team International is getting closer. 5-4 at the moment. Oh, an interesting approach. This could easily result in a white advantage. There's a quick offensive attempt from Olegariumin. He likes to, he really likes to just go for an attack instantly in games. But uh, once more, he's attacking small space, which means his opponent can find defense, and once his opponent finds defense. It's quite hard to regroup and create something. Ok, 
Okay, it looks like the other one's finished. So, these are the last two games of round two between Olegariumin and Lachitin. The Russian is trying, but Black is in some advantage in an offensive position. Both of them around 20 seconds. This could go either ways. There's an opportunity now for Black. There's a win. With a quick combination, this line could be used to win. But it's not played there. To my surprise, but maybe he's now playing it. Nope. He needs to realize this line. Simple. Now he's short of time. Seven seconds remain for him. For each of them, apparently. Okay, how's this game gonna end? It's tough. Still could go either ways. A lot of stones already on the board. VCF now. For black. But black would need to find it. And it looks like black is not finding it. Which unfortunately means it's going to result in a very time trouble position already both of them, for both of them. Who's going to win this one? It's tight, tight moment. Maybe they will go till a draw. Not sure. But now the Russian is lower on time, considerably, 2 seconds versus 6. It's just tough, isn't it? Both of them fighting for survival here in this game. And who knows, maybe this point will be very valuable later on. No way of telling it yet. They're running out of space though. Will a mistake come or will this game end with draw? Will one of them time out perhaps? No way of foretelling that. Exciting moments. Just who's gonna snatch this one? As far as I see, neither of them has offered the draw yet. So, what's gonna happen? White still has this four possibility. Might as well could trick his opponent there. And he does, and he does, just a moment after I said it, he did win with it, oh my, 6-4 for the Russian, unless I'm mistaken, a very very late mistake in time trouble. Damn. That's a real hard blow. It's hard to take something like that. It's quite hard. Damn. 
That that was hard. Poor Vietnamese player there. Was the last hope of the Russian player, and it worked apparently. So props to him for never giving up. Now there's a simple white win. Yeah, he can still overline, but it's just not gonna be enough. There's a win left there still, so. So no defense, apparently. It's just different win, two moves there. Quick one. So Oleg Aryamin defeats Lachitin by the score of 7-4. Let's see real quick the other ones. It looks like Min only lost one, so he win won 10 1. Super impressive. Meanwhile, Alex Pinsky won 9 10. So Russia is still, still very much ahead. All right, last round here. Alexei Labija facing Lachitin. The Asians need to work on a 10 points deficit to come back into this game. Definitely not impossible, but definitely won't be easy either. A tight score line. But overall, the Russians have control of this match from the start. Regardless, we may see some surprise in this third round with a hopefully somewhat dramatic but mostly exciting ending. I hope there will be some sort of a comeback for Team International could be interesting for sure. Alrighty, looks like Trump is going to try and attack there, but not enough resources, seemingly. Oh, when a blunder. Oh, it's not punished. There's so one move in here. Of course, this position is tremendous, but on a second attempt, Alexei Lebed realizes that there is a one move in there and wins the game quickly. 1 0 for him. Yet another scheme from the Vietnamese player. Russian sides with the swap to and he picks black so all the pieces with white pieces it's obviously a black advantage if played well let's see how it's gonna be played of course
He needs to be a bit more mindful. He's being a bit too direct there. Oh. What a surprise. Super surprise because after this block he should have played here. It could have been only blocked from here and then you can try and find a win there but for the first time he was passive, it was when he could have attacked for the win. Yikes. Unexpected. Okay, there's a win for Black and he spots it quickly. Hopefully he sees it till the end because this connection is gonna be needed. Or alternatively he could be playing on this but this one he needs because this would be caught so he needs to play this one and he finds it and quickly levels the individual match between the two of them. 1-1. One, one. Let's move on and see the young players Alexander Pinsky and Angan Kong Min facing each other. This could be an excellent lineup for the U4 Championships, which is gonna start. Um, I think 13th maybe so within a week or so I don't know if Sasha is playing there probably he is playing there Ranju but I would expect him to also try Gomoku as well of course he is a multiple times U4 champion in Ranju and I'm not sure, but probably Gomaku as well. In his age category, for sure, he's the very best. And well, Min has not played the U4 Championship yet. It's a bit complicated for him to play there because, you know, you need a coach to play there. Meanwhile, there's a nice white win with this move, but it's not a win, actually, I'm wrong. I had to correct myself. There was a different longer win, including some direct moves. And that's what we're seeing on the screen. Sasha Pinsky saw it well. 2 1 for him. So, what I was gonna say is that you need a coach to play there because you have to be supervised, etc. Especially given it's, you know, young players and well there is no gomoku association or or even just a club or like anything there's no official organization for gomoku in vietnam so it's unfortunately not quite possible for him to participate I meanwhile well, an interesting line there it looks like he chose color. I mean, he's now having to think about it. He is forced to think. Let's see how well he knows his own opening. Oh, a sharpie. That's a sharpie right there. Now Sasha Pinsky has to attack for his life. Can he succeed? He might, but he also may not. Oh, that's that's <laughs> quite smart. I like it. It's a really smart way to attack. Block has to come from left side, definitely. 
he made a small mistake here with the order. He found a very, very nice line, but he messed up the order here. He should have played this three first. Wow, what a waste. He played it so well. One small mistake can alter it totally. And now it's White's win. There's an open four, come on. It's 2 2. Obviously, this four was blocked by Min because he's nervous. I would bet a lot of money on that. He is definitely nervous. But definitely, again, an exciting battle between two youngs. Two young superstars, actually, because... Well, to play this good at their age... It's definitely super impressive from both of them, from each of them. Okay, can he do a direct attack there? Of course, of course, he can multiple ways actually to try it. I would probably just play here on I 11. He's going with this solution to block it from here, then go here, use this line as well as this one. It's also a safe solution. A simple win from Alexander Pinsky. Alright, 3 2 for the young Russian player. Let's see the third one. Oleg Aryamin versus Jin Ukli. We can see the scheme from the monster. He really likes this one. And the swap 2 incoming from the South Korean. What is he going to do? Is he going to pick white and attack? Now he's picking black. I feel like white could have a lot to do here. If played well, it could still be perfectly fine. And I would have preferred white, to be fair. Oh, hi, Foytman. Oh, yeah, he is. I mean, I'm not entirely sure about the rule books, but it does state that you need to have a coach and you need to gather with your coach, you know, in a separated area. I will probably ask I mean, about this tournament. If he's interested, maybe I will try to arrange something for him because... You know, it would be a pity to have him miss this competition. So, maybe I can have some, some video coaching or I don't know, arranged for him. When I played the U4 Championship, I played from home without a coach. But it was a slightly different story because I was adult world champion before I played U4 Championships. So, people already knew me. But uh, he, of course, has not been to a live tournament yet. And it's a little bit different story. Anyhow, we should look into it with the organizers and see what could be possibly done. So he might be able to play.
Anyhow, back to the position. There was a nice white win from Gino Klee in the previous game, and now it's probably a misclicked opening. I can't think anything else, but yeah, it it has to be a misclicked opening. It's just a black shore in there. But let's see how Lagarian is gonna play in it. Oh wow, well, oh, that's a passive move. White can attack. I believe white could maybe, yeah, had, but it has a win. Unless this move got played, but it wasn't. Although. Although it's still gonna be caught if, if this 4 gets played. If this 4 gets played, it's caught. Oh, some, some, some different idea from, from uh, the Korean player. It's not gonna work, unfortunately. He's gonna lose the match like that. There's a black win now on the board. So eventually, Oligariumin takes the point. And let's go back to Alexei Labiedia versus Lachitin on the first board. It looks like Trami has white pieces, struggling a bit, being surrounded. It's not gonna be easy for him to survive here. Bloke is gonna come from below. J8 strengthening the position of white. Almost surely, yeah. Now it's just gonna be pretty hard, you know. This gets played and you go up. Tough, tough. There's the win, this move J11 is gonna win. Is gonna win. Dala plays it rather quickly. As I've said, he is a good player. He's gonna get this point. Alexei Lebedev gets the job done. Another win for him tonight. Overall, though, looks like the score line is 3 3 between the two of them. Okay, an interesting position. It could go either ways for now. Both of them need to be very careful. But black is in a more convenient position for sure. I personally like H9. I don't see it losing. This ain't bad, but... F10, solid enough. And keeps this area intact. This is, this is too local. You need to think a couple more moves ahead in such positions. This is also quite passive from Aleb. Bit surprising. Okay, just block the thread there. He goes and C7 has to be blocked from the left side because of B10. Once that's done, any move in this area guarantees a black win. Sooner or later, of course. The key is to be a bit creative, playing directly, respect the space as well as uh, play aggressively. 
while building your attack. A lot of possible connections for Black Will's Dwight is rather doomed in that position. No wonder Trammy times out. Olive takes the lead 4 3 in their micro match. Another edge opening. Olive with white, Trammy with black. Let's see where it's gonna go. The positional barrel is on. As some of you may know, Asians have a rather special style which differs from from the mainstream European style, I would say. Which which enables them to play a bit differently. It might seem more unique the way they play as compared to how a European plays. And oftentimes that could be confusing. Especially if you're not familiar with it. Tonight, tonight actually it's afternoon, whatever. Today, we're, we're not seeing much of that special style so far. And maybe that's one of the reasons why the Asian team has some problems against the Russians. Overall here, I would say White has a comfortable position, but Alec decides to be a bit more passive, a bit more cautious, play a more defensive line to play the long shot here. Could still easily work, because position-wise, Black is kind of dead, but a mistake came and now there's a Black win. Oh my. It was quickly spotted by Lechitin and he plays it. A good win from the Vietnamese player. 4 4 between the two of them. Let's head back to the younglings where Sasha Pinsky is battling and Guy and Kong Min. Okay, what's going on here? Seemingly he's forcing the swap to for which he does not remember the theory. Or like sad. He said it's it's too complex for one minute Gumoku, meaning he probably doesn't remember the theory well enough. Anyhow, Sasha Pinsky is dominating this micro match. 8 2 for him, meaning this is the last game between the two of them here. Okay, there's a block win. This move, right? Because it has to be blocked from above, then you go here. Even if this gets played, this blocks, so this move has to win. K Tan is a win move for sure. Now, this one is a tad bit more problematic because, oh my, lucky he this wasn't played. This should have been played from Byte's perspective. But a mistake again from Min. There's a two moves win. And one of them is actually the block of it. So, there's a quick win 9 2 for. Sasha Pinsky Well well Okay, let's see how these two are doing How many games could be still left Let me try to find it 5-4 for now I 
All right, it's in the chat. Cool. So five four here. The young players are done. Overall, we can say it is an obvious Russian win already. At this point, it's just unavoidable. Mathematically, it's it's won a long ago. I feel like the team international was not in their very best shape this afternoon, which is, you know, evening for them. But, well, it's still an acceptable performance. I'm just saying that uh, I know them and they can do better than that. They were unfortunately unable to show their best skills this time. And it's the last round of the Team World Best Championship. They could show their skills in previous rounds. And they did. On multiple occasions. Well, next time they can try in the World Best Cup individually hopefully they will for now it looks like team international is gonna finish with three points in the team world base championship 2024 whereas russia is going to finish with four points As you know, the competition was seven rounds long in a Swiss format. Meanwhile, a mistake comes from Alexei Lebedev, surprisingly, enabling Lachitin to take this point, meaning it's 5-5 in a matter of clicks. And now, it's up for grabs. Who's going to win this micro match? At least still some, some smaller exciting factors from the match even if altogether the win for Russia is clear it's cheer for both of them to be fair and let's see who's gonna snatch this one black has a better position here Okay, Olaf tries to survive there. And a rather passive approach from, from uh, Lachitin. And another passive approach from Alexei Lebedev. I was pretty sure he's gonna play H9. Okay, still up for grabs. Now, for a change, white is on the attack. Let's see if Alexei Lebedev can find something there. Not like that, no, not for sure. Although he manages to trap his opponent to make a defensive move like that. Surprising. Now this move cannot be played. This is a mistake. But. But, but. This is also a mistake. There was a VCF here. Anyhow. 
Anyhow, that means chances are still alive for both of them. And now, I would say Black has the better position, but for that, Black would need to start attacking a bit. Only one move sooner, not now, because now White could attack here. But White is not attacking there for, for some reason. Alib is passive here. He's following his opponent. I'm not entirely sure why. That could end not well for him because there's a VC off after this tree gets played. There would be a nice VC off along these lines, but a different line gets played, and it's still still a black win, but a bit harder. Is he gonna play the four first? No, he's not. So there's defense. Oh my, a very hectic ending, hard to follow it, chances are just bouncing from, from left to right, black has win, white has win, it's back and forth, now white has win again, I'm confused, <laughs> this is gonna end now, I'm confident, yeah. All right, it's game over. Six five for Alib. Overall, let me quick check the score between Monster and Corey and Gomoker. Where is it? Four seven. Admin lost 9-2, I believe. He won 2, I believe, yes. Oh yeah, 9-2. So, overall, give me a sack to check it. So if I'm not mistaken, it should be 60 to 39, a victory for Russia. Well, a rather confident victory. Team International just couldn't catch up to them on this occasion. Well, maybe next time. I thank you for your attention and see you next time. Cheers.